welcome to the Glee Studio. This is Komati Sivasankar. I welcome you all to this a new video that is covering the yoga side, the change management side of uh, uh, the Glee Studio's activities. We have been happy to share this with you, the experiment that we have conducted in the winter break now uh, at the Glee Studio with the kids. So this is the yoga for athletic kids workshop that we could uh, manage to have for five days with uh, kids that have been into uh, badminton practice for a while before we get into watching the video one one important thing that i would like to share is that um, these practices are not to be done uh, without um, help this video is definitely not the full video and it is not in any way guiding anyone to do something these three kids that you see in the pictures or the videos are uh, badminton professionals and they have been practicing badminton for at least uh, uh, three to four uh, days in a week for a while now and uh, they have been performing professionally for a while now so their bodies and minds are in a state to take this kind of um, input um, what is it we check? We check the hands and uh, knees, are they parallel? Hips are most important. How are they? And the pressure point that you want to give to the foot. Yes. Yeah, that is good. So you have checked all that and now you are ready to take a deep breath in. Cow belly pose. So the belly comes down and you look up. Good and crunch when you like an angry cat yes very good let's do it two more times in a nice flow deep breath in cow position and breathe out yeah <coughs> breathe in and breathe out mm. Now, just in the stable position, be in the stable position. And now we are going to begin with our right leg, which means the left leg needs to be protected. The left knee has to be protected. Pressure point, if you want to increase the tension, what will you do? The foot, yes, the foot. You want to check. All good, then you are ready to get started with a very nice and slow deep breath to stretch your right leg. Yes, yeah, stretch the right leg straight. Very good, slow steady deep breath. All right, now you can lift up the right leg. Yes, pointing to the ceiling. Very slowly, you are getting ready for a cat cow modify, which, which is yes, deep breath in, breathe out. You are bringing it to you close to your face, bringing the knee close to the face. Breathe out, yeah, and yes, very good. And let's do that. Breathe out, breathe in, the cow. Modified go and breathe out. Yes, the next time when you breathe in and when you breathe out, what will you do? The knee has to come outside or close to your elbow, right? Yes, let's do that one more time. Good. And the next time, yes, this go, uh, knee is going to stretch out to the side, yes, stretch the leg and this is again a thing that you choose. If you want to increase the pressure, you will make sure that the foot is not resting on the floor. If you have to rest, you can rest like that the way you are. So let's go for three moves of up and down with deep breath in and breathe out, breathe in and breathe out, breathe in and breathe out. Very slowly push it back now to the long uh, standing position. 
and bring the foot back, uh, back down, back down, um, brush it back down, yes. Now you move to a modified downward dog, good, a modified tabletop, modified downward dog, a tabletop, downward dog one last time. A table top and slowly come back to the all four position. Yes. The understanding of yoga as we know today and the practice of yoga as we know today is unfortunately restricted only to 5% of what is yoga. The physicality of it or the uh, you know extent of flexibility could be attractive. And maybe that is the success story behind yoga as, as a practice and also yoga as a business. But unfortunately, the remaining 95% is somehow, you know, maybe not, not so very well discussed the way it should be. There are institutions that are importing on this knowledge as well. So I'm very thankful that... Uh, um, you know, we have access to such institutions still, but most of the cases, it's only the physical activity. In a typical class, it's just the physical activity start to finish, um, possibly ending with a meditation or a shavasana. The theory has to be um, maximized, and that was the whole point of doing this um, workshop to see how far children take in the balance of theory versus practice we had about 40 to 45 percentage of the time you used for theory discussions and looking at how to under, uh, how to um, use that knowledge in their practical um. you were searching for tama guna you found out yeah yeah tell me tobacco all right Next question, what is it about? Stupor belong to. Yeah, there is a vritti called stupa. We talked about it, isn't it? You talked about it, you made fun of it. Do you remember? Sairan remember. Swadhisthana, what do you think? I wrote You also wrote Swadhisthana? Okay, let me search for stupor. What is the next question? Digestive system. Yeah, do you want to try? Manipura. Okay, good. The last question. Do you want to read it, uh, Ashastri? How can one balance feeling of hatred, jealousy, and revenge? Yes, and I, I think it's good for all three of us to discuss, all four of us to discuss. Tell, what do you think? Well, because it's it's not an easy answer. It's a bigger answer. Eh? Balance food. Mm-hmm. Measured, nutritious, easily digestible, mm -hmm. fasting, mm -hmm. covering and partially washing up. How to stabilize the Manipura Chakra? Stabilize the Manipura Chakra, okay. Mm. What do you think? Yeah, yes. I, I have written um, balanced food and having a cold shower, I wrote that. I, I wrote... Um, Doing yoga for all the chakras, all all three chakras that are animal behavior basically, to uh, because these are all rooting from our ancestral animal behavior. So sessions started uh, with their um, warm up and uh, pranayama, and then the focus was on biopsychology of yoga. We had in this workshop due to restriction of time, we focused on the chakras that were relating to or closely associated with our animal behaviors in us, that is our uh, ancestral behavior rather that comes. So we looked at those and how advantages or disadvantages or positive or negative they could go when it comes to uh, playing it out, uh, playing a match and such. So all these things were discussed and using those understandings and um, you know the propensities as a base we have worked on 
the physical aspect of of the challenge as well hands up deep breath in breathe out halfway hand comes down in and out slowly push the hands to the floor very good now the right leg kicks back yes check the hand position yes the moment you are feeling comfortable check your drishti slowly climb up taking hands off the floor look straight wherever you feel comfortable now hands on the hip yes check the tension slightly deep breath in and when you breathe out come down okay hands up slowly very slowly deep breath in and down yes breathe in again when you come down now you come and put your hands together the knee also comes down safeguard the knee yes good <clears throat> very good and now you're going to lift yourself up to look to the left side isn't it good now you can place place the palm yes place the palm on the floor look to the right can you lift the hand the left hand up good yes stretch that hand behind now for the next deep breath yes the next deep breath in and out you want to stretch that leg and try to hold it hold the foot yes three deep breaths in and out slow and steady two and three hands back to the floor in the front yes now you are getting ready to push the right leg stretching it yes the left leg goes behind and now we want to choose which way you want to um you know um, increase tension on the foot yeah if you cross your leg like that the tension increases yes that's good if you do not feel like then you don't have to yes sideways shifting the hip sideways ready um yes good hands on the hip hands straight up now we take three deep breaths in and out slowly push the hand back to the floor hip adjustment leg positioning uh, downward dog to stabilize yourself okay and with conviction you come to a plank you're in a plank and with conviction you're going to take three deep breaths in and out while you do three push ups slow and steady nice and easy yes breathe in come out breathe out go down up again down again up again yes ready to go back to our downward dog slow and steady both the legs can walk to the front of the mat now slow and steady yes and relax there the flows that were taught to them were taught step by step uh, in pieces and then slowly uh, showing them how to connect those flows together asana refers to or really means a seat uh so each asana is a position wherein you are seated meaning seated in your mind and seated also in your body to take the breath in or out or maybe both depending upon the asana itself so they have learned these flows and maybe they also have learned how to use these flows maybe as separate pieces or all together depending upon where they are and how much time do they have and what exactly they have to focus on 
a quick example would be that for example if they want to focus on working on their footwork or the muscles that has to be you know uh, on the foot that has to be relaxed a bit they would know which flow to choose to work on versus if they are feeling physically fit and the challenge is really with the mind level which is mostly the case sometimes with uh, uh, with athletics that you know the focus is what they want to work on then they would choose another flow for example so that would be um uh, things and these things were discussed and were practiced we are checking where both legs are trying to put both legs close to each other comfortably checking the position and relaxing and slowly lifting up the right leg to place it on the yes place it on this hands go up deep breath in yes and come down in the front like a basket hold it good can we now focus use a drishti focus point and with conviction lift up the right knee lock it up deep breath in and out another deep breath in when you breathe out the left hand can go to the hip let it go let it go to the hip breathe in and out balance focus knee is going to come to the right very slow and steady deep breath in and out stretch the hip keep the focus there now let's shift focus that is the reality of life let's look to the opposite direction deep breath in and out and now let's look back to the front bring the knee to the front kick the knee ah leg straight and put it down ready go they have been through the theory uh, and the practice held together and to put it all to the end every day of their workshop ended with a meditation session focusing on um their needs as players uh, focusing on what gets them going and what doesn't work well and why and this is a practice that they have and um, they are going to take home obviously because this is not something that um you know you sit for 5 minutes and you get the an answer right away so it's a practice and they have begun this um and hopefully it will help them in their future um, the final workshop uh, final day also had a small little test for them so that we could discuss and also see how they have understood their um propensities or behaviors that is you know um maybe not physically visible all the time but definitely within them Uh, and how they could work with it as well so that's how we have ended this way down and come totally down with both the hands on the floor the left leg crosses the right yes the right leg goes behind right leg goes behind and the left knee falls down very slowly and very slowly very slowly stretch the leg stretch the leg yeah look straight stretch the leg and slowly the elbows come down <clears throat> yes elbows come down and five deep breaths yes this is better i think yeah and slowly both the hands to the sides the weight goes to the left side yes they goes to the left side and lift up the right leg and place it across very good very good good try to see if you can fold that leg also closer yes also good both hands now straighten your uh, uh, 
yeah trunk and then very slowly both hands up hands back to the knees now hold the knees so right. deep breath in um the uh, left hand goes up first and comes down now deep breath in the right hand goes up and now down behind now Yes, you look to this side. Yeah. Stretch the spine. Nice. T three deep breaths. And slowly release. Coming to the front. Releasing the legs and relaxing them. Yes. I am uh, very thankful to the families that have trusted in me for this uh, particular uh, workshop. If this is something uh, interesting for you, I would request you to write to us or reach out to somebody close to you and definitely not try to practice on your own. Again, repeating that this is definitely not a full video of uh, the entire activity, the entire workshop. I am definitely happy to take on more such sessions. Um, please write to support at the glazestudio.dk and we will work with uh, your needs to figure out what is best for you. So again, repeating the same thing that what you see here in the video may not be necessarily the best for you as a player or for you as a, as a kid. So we will first figure out what is your requirement and what exactly is the is a thing that uh, works with you and see how we can build a workshop around or a class around with the kids or a group of kids yes thank you very much bye bye